In the world of Stardew Valley, we know automobiles exist. Sebastian owns a motorcycle, the town has a bus, and Pam lives in a mobile home. But we don't really see the characters drive anywhere. In this video, I'm going to rank how good a driver I think each character is based on their personality. Before we get into it, I need to apologize. Today, I was supposed to release my video on the worst job I've ever had. However, I'm grossly behind schedule because I decided to take last weekend off to visit some friends, like an idiot. Somehow I took three days off and am now 10 days behind schedule. I will never take a break again. Just kidding. You were all lovely and very gracious in the comments. I don't deserve you. Anyway, I'll upload this next week and my normal schedule will continue from there. Probably. So if this video seems rushed, that's because it is. Here we go. These are all lined up in alphabetical order, so we're gonna start off with Abigail. To me, Abigail is a bit of a speed demon. I think it's something to do with her adventurous spirit, but to me, it just seems like she would speed everywhere she goes. Like 50 kilometers over the legal limit. Or what is that, like 27 miles? I don't know. She also definitely listens to Dungeons and Dragons podcasts and I do that too, and I can tell you that if you're driving in a crowded area with lots of traffic and trying to focus on your Dungeons and Dragons story, you're probably gonna destroy your car. Otherwise, I think she'd be pretty good, so I'm gonna drop her in B tier. Next up, Alex. I have a personal vendetta against this guy because he's such a douche. <laughs> and I think he wouldn't be a good driver. He's very high school jock, right? And high school jocks like to drive fast and recklessly to impress people and to make themselves feel better about having a tiny wiener. Hey, let's go. Oh yeah. He's not bad enough to put into F tier, but I'm gonna drop him in D tier because I just know he likes cutting people off for fun and he's way too aggressive in everything that he does. He's the kind of guy to tailgate Get you all the way to your destination and then when he turns he's the one flipping you off birdie birdie has never heard of a car before the closest thing she has to a locomotive is probably a pirate ship i'm gonna put her in f tier because if she was in a car no one would be safe bouncer he gives me secret service vibes i feel like all agents of his caliber would be expertly trained he also stands in the same spot for all of eternity so his patience would be endless this dude absolutely crushes it S tier driver. Caroline. Um, I assume Pierre is very controlling and doesn't let anybody else drive, but I get the vibe that she drives like how my mom drives in real life. She's very good at it, but easily gets distracted. And sometimes if she's flustered, she'll just break every law to get to where she needs to go. I'm gonna give her a C because that spot's empty. Clint. Clint is the guy with the pickup truck who doesn't actually need a truck and tailgates you constantly. Like he's so sure that where he's going is more important than where you're going. I wanna put him in F tier because I don't like him as a human being, but I'm actually gonna put him in B because I think the tailgating would be annoying, but that's probably the only bad thing he does while driving. Uh, Demetrius owns a Tesla and he lets it do all the driving for him. <laughs> I can also see him getting lost in thought a lot. Like he has a new idea, so he pulls a clipboard out of the glove compartment to start writing things down. But all in all, he'd probably be a fine driver, so I'm gonna put him in C. Dwarf, I fear them in a car. Probably something would blow up or they'd crash into people for having shadows. Dwarf gets an F tier. Actually, maybe... Maybe D, because the dwarf is good with gadgets and ancient tech, right? So there might be some kind of dune buggy that they know how to operate. I'll leave him there for now. Elliot just rides horses. <laughs> I know he lives on the beach and that's his whole personality, but he's an entrepreneur, he's a writer, he likes to read, he likes writing books, he seems like the all natural kind of guy. But he's also broke, so he couldn't afford like a Tesla or a hybrid, so I'm just gonna say that he likes to ride horses. Also, look at that hair. He definitely looks like the kind of guy who would show up in a fever dream, like shirtless and glistening with sweat, rides up to you on a horse. Is that just my fantasy? Anyway, I don't think Elliot would be a good driver. He seems inattentive and that the rules of the road would confuse him very much. I'm gonna drop him down in D as well. Emily? Emily? <laughs> Emily seems like she would drive slower than Evelyn. She strikes me as someone who's very careful, which can often be a bad thing if you're driving. Being too slow can be just as bad as going too fast. The one thing I am sure of about Emily is that she's got like all those weird stickers on her car with like the pink furry interior and 
probably a, a bird cage in the back. Every time I see someone like that with the fuzzy inside of their car, reminds me of the people who put rug in their bathroom. Like, that's a huge red flag. I'm gonna drop her, uh, probably in front of Alex. There we go. But still in D tier. Evelyn definitely wouldn't drive anymore, but I think when she did, she was probably half decent. Maybe a bit on the slower side, but nothing that would cause harm. So I'm gonna put her in C tier. Fizz. Okay, so Fizz is one of the new characters in 1.6, and if you don't know anything about him, you could pretty much just look at his icon and that tells you all you need to know. He definitely owns a white van or a Breaking Bad style RV. He seems like the kind of guy to purposely ignore traffic laws, like he almost wants to get caught. If you're sharing the road with this guy, just slow down and let him pass. I wouldn't recommend going anywhere near him. I'm gonna put him in F tier. George? Um, so George is challenging. He's got no legs. He probably hasn't been able to drive since he blew himself up 30 years ago. That is what happened to his legs, by the way. He was working in the mines and blew himself up with dynamite. So I don't know if I'd trust him with a car. I'm sure there are like prosthetics you can get that would allow you to drive, but George definitely ain't getting those. I'm also gonna put him in F because he couldn't drive even if he wanted to. Gil is a sleepy boy. He would fall asleep anytime he gets behind the wheel, which if you're asking me is an S T- No, I'm kidding. Um, I'd probably put him in D. I'd trust him to stay awake most of the time, but if he falls asleep behind the wheel, you don't wanna be in the passenger seat. The governor I'm also gonna put in D tier, but I'd put him somewhere between between Alex and the dwarf. The governor definitely has a chauffeur and like a private limo that he takes everywhere he goes. I imagine he could drive if he needed to, but he's so out of practice that he'd be pretty bad at it. Grandpa's not alive. Uh, I should have made a tear for him. Hang on, hang on. Add row below. Uh, dead guy. <laughs> uh, and we'll make it black. <laughs> that barely shows up. It's fine. There he goes. Rip in peace, Grandpa. Gunther. We don't really know anything about Gunther. I looked up his Wikipedia page to see if maybe there was some personal info I was forgetting. There's nothing there. If we're gonna use him as like baseline average, I'd put him in B tier. Ahead of Clint though because I don't like Clint. Gus, I like to imagine, is totally normal, but if he had a food truck, which, let's be real, it's Gus, he absolutely would, I think he'd go crazy. If any of you have seen that episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine where Boyle has a food truck and drives like an utter maniac- Get the hell out of the way! That's Gus. So I'm gonna put him in C tier. Haley, <laughs> Haley is definitely the kind of girl to not pay attention to the road whatsoever. She'll miss her turn on the highway or freeway and go oopsie and then throw it into reverse and cause five accidents around her. I think Haley belongs in F tier because there's probably only a 50% survival rate whenever she takes somebody somewhere. Now, Harvey knows a lot about planes, which makes me think he might be pretty good with cars, but he's also a mild-mannered dog doctor, which makes me think he has a proclivity to follow the rules to a T. So I'm gonna guess he's the type who never speeds and always follows the rules exactly as written, even if it's not the best course of action. Like for example, if you're driving in a city where everybody's going 20 or 30 over the speed limit, if you're the slower one, you could be putting those people in danger. It's like my mom always says, driving is an art, it's not a science. Although there's a lot of rules to driving, but there's gray area too. Although I did put Carolyn in C, who I said drove like my mom. So so maybe I shouldn't be taking advice from her. Sorry, mom. <laughs> She's probably not watching this. It's fine. Anyway, Harvey, B tier. The henchman, uh, definitely doesn't know the rules of the road or how to drive a car. Probably doesn't know what a car is. I imagine the henchman can't figure out how to put the car in drive and then just gives up and walks wherever they're going. I'm gonna put henchman in F as well. Uh, probably over here. All right, now we've got Jazz. Why don't I make another another? <laughs> there we go. And this one we're just gonna call Child because they can't drive. So we'll drop Jazz and we'll drop, whoops. Oh no, I just killed her. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> no, I'll put her in Child. And Leo and Vincent, there you are. Can't drive yet, haha, <laughs> stinky. Jody, absolutely soccer mom energy. She's probably way too busy with her kids to pay attention to driving. Like Vincent is yelling in the back seat. Sam's playing his music way too loud. She's got a hundred different things on her mind and Kent's not there for the first year, so she can't rely on him. I think she probably has good driving skills, but is completely preoccupied all the time. I'll put her about 
about where Carolyn's at. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Kent was in the military. In the military, you have to learn to drive a whole lot of different things. I really think Kent would be a fantastic driver, so I'm gonna put him in S tier as well. The only issue I can see with Kent is I think he'd constantly be playing classical music at a very low volume so his PTSD doesn't flare up. If there's like an accident nearby or any kind of loud sounds, I think you're gonna mess that guy up. But as long as you're careful with him, he'd make a great driver. Krobus is in the same boat as Dwarf or Henchman. I don't think they'd know what a car is and they wouldn't know how to drive, but Krobus is kind and mild-mannered enough that I think he'd actually be pretty good if he got, like, driving lessons. Of course, his potential and his current ability are not the same thing, so I'm gonna have to put him in D tier. I'll drop him down there. And while I'm here, I'm gonna put the Dwarf over there. That looks better. Because I think Elliot could eventually learn to drive and the Dwarf would just keep blowing up the vehicle. Leah. Okay, I'm really biased with Leah because she's my favorite. Do y'all get like Stardew Valley spouse guilt? In my first ever world, I married Leah. But now when I play with other people and try to romance a different NPC, I start to feel bad. Maybe that's sad, but you can't say I'm disloyal. I really like Leah. She's very strong and independent. I think she'd be a great driver. I don't know if she'd be fun to drive with because I imagine she has some like new age rock that she likes to listen to, like abstract music that's just a bunch of noises going on. Off, but that's not really what we're ranking. While she doesn't have any spec ops training that would put her in S tier, I think Leah is our first A. She did used to live in the city, so she'd be accustomed to driving in traffic. Now, Lewis, on the other hand, he's totally the guy who drives an old muscle car that's horrible for the environment, and all the while he's chastising electric cars. Well, you know, once the battery dies, they have to go into the scrapyard anyway, and the lithium ion really isn't good for the environment. Meanwhile, he's driving around his 1966 Dodge Charger, and there's black smoke coming out the back. He's got his muffler removed. I think he would be an okay driver, but everything about his personality tells me he's dangerous on the road. I'm gonna drop him somewhere here. Nah, there. Linus. Obviously, Linus doesn't have his driver's license. Or maybe he got it when he was young and now he's like afraid of vehicles. Or maybe he just doesn't feel the need to drive anywhere. That's equally valid. I imagine when he rescues the farmer from in the mine, he's probably like cycling. <laughs> so he's a biking Andy. You gotta give him credit for that. However, this is a driving tier list. And if he can't drive, I'm putting him down there. Now with Marlin, I get the sense he would be a really good driver, but probably gets into a lot of crashes because of that one eye. Bad depth perception. Grunkle Stan style. What is that, a woodpecker? I'll give him a low C tier. I think he's got the skills, he just doesn't really have the sight. Marnie strikes me as the forgetful type. Like, she's not driving poorly out of malice, but she probably forgets the speed limit and isn't checking both ways, so she almost runs people over and definitely cuts people off by accident. Runs red lights, forgets to turn her brights off at nighttime. I want to put her somewhere Somewhere around here. I think better than the governor. Boy, the longer this goes, the worse I feel for putting Haley here. No, you know what? I stand by that because the dwarf and Krobus can't drive, but I think given the right direction, they could both learn. Whereas Haley knows how to drive. She's passed her driver's test, but I just think she's going to hurt people. Okay, literally, I never learned how to say her name. Is it Maru or is it Maru? I always call her Maru, but I never bothered to look it up. Wait, here we go. Do you pronounce it Meru like a female horse or Maru like the word R? Like a bear married a person. What? Married a person. Mer, mer, Meru? My dog. What are you talking about, bro? Are you saying Mer, bear? Mer, married? Mard? Bear, marred. Oh, marred. <laughs> it's late, okay? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> marred a person and then mar maru. Okay, so it is maru. Dog, can you don't? All right, it's Maru. I said before that Demetrius has a Tesla. Maru seems like she would drive his Tesla, but also kind of screw around with it. She's very techy. I imagine she'd make her own modifications to the car and probably cost her dad like thousands of dollars. But because she's so good with technology, I actually think Maru would be a great driver. I'm gonna put her up there in A tier with Leah. Morris. Morris strikes me as the kind of guy who never uses turn signals because he assumes he owns the road. Uh, he could probably also afford a chauffeur like the governor, but chooses to drive himself because he likes cutting people off. So I'm putting him there. Mr. Key. Oh boy. Is it Mr. Key or Mr. Chi? I can't believe I'm doing this again. There's no correct way to pronounce it. Actually, that's 
That's very on brand for Concerned Abe. All right, well, Mr. P.T. probably drives the flying car from Harry Potter. He is either the best or the worst driver ever. Hard to tell. I'm just gonna drop him in the middle because I think that would average it out. Maybe I should make another tier for him. Nope, I'm, I gotta stop it. I'm, get, I'm out of control. I'm gonna put him there and then that's it. Pam. All right, the energy she's giving me as a bus driver is reckless, but surprisingly good. If you've taken public transit before, like I have, you might notice that the buses get so incredibly close to everything and still manage to come out unscathed. I think I'm gonna put her... You know what, screw it. I'm putting Pam in S tier. Maybe she's reckless, but if she never gets into any accidents, that means she's a really good driver. She's got specialized training just like the other two. I think she deserves to be there in S tier, unless she's drinking and driving, but we'll get to that when we cover Shane. <laughs> Penny, actually, I think she'd be a very good driver. She's probably memorized everything in the rule book, but is probably wise enough to know how to drive safely, not just correctly. It's weird that those two things aren't the same, but they're not. So I think I'm also gonna put Penny in A tier. Now, Pierre, I think, would be a great driver. He seems quite competent. That businessman aura automatically makes me think he's got a couple more driving points. Pierre probably doesn't let his wife or daughter get anywhere near his car. I imagine he's got a really expensive one that he likes to show off to everybody, because he's kind of a prick. But in terms of actual driving ability, everything points to him being pretty good. I think I'll also put him in A. Professor Snail probably owns an old tan Jeep Wrangler, but hasn't touched it in years. He'd do fine on a desert trail, would probably run over a pedestrian in the city. I think I'll put him right about there. Robin. I'm so mad that we can't cuck Demetrius and marry Robin. She's great. She wears the pants in the family. She's definitely a very good driver. I imagine she's got a big SUV full of tools with like a ladder strapped to the top of it for all of her construction jobs. I'm gonna put her as a pretty high A tier. Eh. Eh. There we go. Now, Sam, he prefers to skateboard, but he drives his mom's van very safely. And he's definitely the one in the friend group picking everybody else up. Like, if you're ever going somewhere with those guys, Sam is the one to come pick you up in his mom's minivan. 1000%. I think he'd be pretty good. I'm putting him in B tier. Sandy. That's a tough one. Sandy's chill. She probably drives like a Honda Accord and speeds a bit, but that's all. I'm gonna put her like right there. Sebastian. We know Sebastian drives a motorcycle, so he's gonna land pretty high up. However, I imagine he doesn't wear any protective gear, even though it's legally required. I'm sure he also smokes while he's driving, and I mean, let's be real, he drives a motorcycle. He's probably quite dangerous and reckless. I'm still gonna put him in A tier for having the skill to ride a motorbike, but there's also something about people who ride motorbikes that makes me feel unsafe. So that's where he's staying. Shane, here we go, drunk driver. <laughs> I'm actually gonna gonna put him here in F tier, because maybe if he was sober, he'd be decent, but he's never sober. This is an anti-drunk driving PSA, folks. If there are any kids watching this, which I know there aren't, don't drink and drive. Why would I say that to kids? They are not the one drinking or driving. <laughs> anyway, that's where he's going. Willie. Now, Willie is an interesting one. Definitely would be good at driving a boat. The question is, would those skills transfer over to a car? I think they would. I think Willie is very patient. You'd have to be to live life as a fisherman. And I don't think he's so old that he'd be losing any driving ability yet. So I actually want to put him either A or B. I'm gonna put him right there. That feels right to me. And last but certainly not least, the wizard. He probably thinks cars are stupid and teleports everywhere, so he definitely doesn't have a driver's license. And therefore, he will go right there. Well, that's it for my ranking Stardew characters as drivers. Again, I'm very sorry the video got delayed. I'm honestly considering changing my schedule a bit, because it seems like people would rather wait a bit longer for quality videos rather than have one guaranteed coming out every two weeks that I and they are not happy with. But I'll let you know in any definitive updates in the community tab. So once again, thank you for watching. I'd ask you to like and subscribe, but I don't think this video is worth a like because it was incredibly lazy and I'm only doing this as an apology for missing my upload schedule. So all I ask is that you tune in for the video next week because that one should be at least a little bit higher quality than this one. No guarantees. Sometimes my drawings turn out like crap. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Bye-bye. Get out of here!